This is a podcast from the Business Times. Good evening. It's Thursday, August 22, 2024. Here's your market focus daily closing bell update. For the Business Times, I'm Emily Liu. Asian markets fluctuated today as the U.S. Federal Reserve appears to be on track for an interest rate cut in September. Japan's Nikkei 225 rose 0.7%, ending at a three week high. Hong Kong's Hang Seng rose 1.4%. Korea's Kospi, Australia's ASX 200, India's Nifty 50, and Singapore's STI all rose 0.2%, while China's CSI 300 fell 0.3%. Amazon Web Services has launched its AWS region in Malaysia, committing to a 6.2 billion US dollar investment in the country through 2038. The new AWS infrastructure will significantly impact Malaysia's economy, contributing an estimated 12 billion US dollars to the national GDP and creating over 3,500 jobs annually. Delivery drivers in Singapore will soon see more labor protections. From January 1, 2025, these so-called platform workers will be entitled to work injury compensation, higher CPF contribution requirements, and be represented by bodies similar to unions. The government's Platform Workers CPF Transition Support Scheme will provide monthly cash payouts to low-wage platform workers, covering 100% of the increase in CPF contributions for 2025 and 75% for 2026, with the offsets gradually reducing and ending by 2029. The rapid depreciation of Myanmar's CAC currency is causing significant inflation, affecting the prices of essential goods such as food and medicine, and severely impacting ordinary households amidst an ongoing civil war and deteriorating economy. The Myanmar CAC has been extremely volatile in recent days, plunging to a low of 7,500 to the dollar in the black market last week, from 5,000 earlier in the month. That's it for today. For more business news and market updates, visit bt.sg. This is a podcast by The Business Times. Find more BT podcasts at businesstimes.com.sg slash podcasts or wherever you get your podcasts. This podcast is meant to provide general information only. SPH Media accepts no liability for loss arising from any reliance on the podcast or use of third parties' products and services. Please consult professional advisors for independent advice.